of, of, of people. And today um, we're, we're blessed to have a, a sister, uh, Ruth Bilal. Um, she's a pioneer sister. Um, she's a mother, uh, a, a, a grandmother, a wife. Uh, 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 she has a, 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 a pioneer. Um, she has a beautiful eye of capturing uh, photography. And I thought that um, would be a great opportunity for us to take a look and to hear um, at the life of Sister Ruth Bilal. You know, it's a life that uh, has stimulated and motivated uh, many people. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'd like to present to us uh, Sister Ruth Bilal. Assalamu alaikum, Sister Ruth Bilal. I want to thank you and welcome you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is. Assalamu alaikum. Am I okay? Yes, you're okay. You can start your story. Thank you. My name is Ruth Shukriya Bilal. And my birth name was Ruth Annette Green. My parents, George and Pearl, raised me in Arlington, Virginia. They were the best parents ever. I was born at our home, and I'm the third oldest of nine children. My dad mm -hmm. took us to Mount Zion Baptist Church every Sunday. It was located in Freeman's Valley Village. Freeman's Village it was there where our Arlington Cemetery is located today. Whoa, whoa, so, excuse me, Sister Ruth Bilal, you shouldn't have never said that. Y'all y'all are part of that a group of families of the, uh, from the Freeman Village community? Yeah. Wow. What this Freeman Village is, is, is um, this is for the public audience, is, is a very historical area. This is uh, uh, during the Civil War. This is part of um, Robert E. Lee Plantation. And then when they, they, they broke that up, they made a Freeman Village, and part of Arlington Cemetery is part of Freeman Village. In Section 27, the people that were part of that community are buried there. They're the only people that are, uh, are civilians that are buried in Arlington Cemetery. Sorry about that, Sister Ruth. Thank you. Yeah, some of your ancestors probably are buried in there. Started out at the Pentagon on that ground, and then moved over there to uh, mm -hmm. Village. Mm -hmm. Recently, not too long ago, my grandmother passed. My mom's mom. She was 105 years Seven, old. 107. 107. And so the church that buried her is over there. And they still have all of the history of the church and the community there yeah, in that yeah. building. Get out of here. Where's that church at? Now, Zion Baptist Church is Arlington, Virginia, off of. Uh, it's over there by Henderson Hall. Okay. Uh, okay. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Near, yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry to take us off on that, but that was that's very informative information that's needed to be told. Okay. I remember this picket fence my father built. We had no mm -hmm. sidewalks, but most families had a victory garden. My mom and I would use mason jars to can fruits and vegetables. The coal man, so that we could have a warm house, he would dump the coal in our yard. My daddy was raising pigeons and chickens and uh, the Caucasian neighborhood was across the street from our home on the right, called Sugar Hill and Green Valley. My mom and I did day's work, including ironing clothes or babysitting, cleaning the house or whatever. I babysat for a woman called Rhoda Maurice. My father was a truck driver for the um, public works in Washington, DC. Hmm. Uh, he built our house and um, he came home from work every day and worked to, um, to expand our home, to add a basement, kitchen, and bathroom. My brother, Godwin, was a mailman, and he'd bring home bricks he found. My brothers and sisters helped pay for and build in addition to our home after my father did what he did. And on this picture, you see the old, old car of my father's and my my sisters and brothers there. 
And I know it's my father at the picket fence. I used to play baseball next to our home after school with my neighbors. There was a lot of woods in our area. And today in Northern Virginia, Southern, we live in Southern Virginia houses where they replaced the trees. My parents kept us very close to home. Our family was different from many of the families in our community. Our neighbors used to sleep outside on the porch sometime because there were so many of them. We had no running water, no well. So we would go to the neighbor's home to use their well to get waters. The neighbors then at that time would borrow whatever they didn't have in the kitchen or food for <laughs> such things. And uh, we had terribly deep snows in Southern Virginia. We'd walk to school, Kemper School, Drew School, and Hoffman Boston. And this picture is showing my high school graduating class. My mom and dad, and uh, I can't name all of the students, but my picture is circled. That was the yes, graduation 1953. I was a majorette in high school. A big day for us was May Day. We were taught square dancing. There was no twerking. We attended rent parties for 25 cents. That's when the people would uh, collect money to help pay their rent. This is my high school graduation picture at the age of 16. I went to a secretarial college to learn shorthand and transcription. I had beautiful clothing, including what was called Carmen Jones dresses. <laughs> that was way back. <laughs> <laughs> And the first row here, here, this is my whole family, my mom and dad's children, except for the two older boys that were born before my father married my mother. There's uh, the first row, who got, uh, Frederick Goblin Green, who was the postman. My dad, my mom, and me. Back row, Lorraine, Benson, Manette, Yusuf, and Linda, the whole family. My two older brothers are Edward and James are here with my mother. Where did they come in? That's me, I'm sorry. I've had many interests in addition to photography. I took piano lessons sang in the church choir, taught uh, through the school, was a brownie and a Girl Scout. My mother taught me to sew on a machine like this one. It had a foot pedal. She taught me to knit. My father would take us fishing. I worked my first job right after graduation from high school for the Army Department of Defense at Gravity Point and next I worked at the Pentagon. I punched cards for payroll, for uh, government payroll checks, and did typesetting for awards and certificates of achievement and so forth. I purchased my own camera and recorders. And this, this is the equipment that I used. Um, can I show you some of the, uh, which one? Yeah. Okay, this is my first, this is my camera now that I use most of the time. And it also makes videos. Excellent mm. camera, I love it. Yes, um, what is it? A, uh, <laughs> Sony. <laughs> anyway. How long have you been doing photography? Oh my goodness. Um, well, my dad used to make, he used to use uh, the film, the roll of film. He had an old brownie camera and uh, he would use the bathroom for the dark room and develop his own film. And I guess I got it from him, you know? Mm. So it's been a long time, but I um, didn't really continue it constantly until I got older. I have a few pictures of my 
And another camera I used to, I use is my video camera. This one, excellent camera. Just a um, VHS JVC. And uh, some of the film was this type of film. This is what I was, eight millimeter, I think it is. And these, okay, I've got a slew of these. These are CDs. CDs. And on these CDs, I have recorded weddings and all kinds of things. And I got a bunch of these. Uh, Thousands. <laughs> I'm in the attic and everywhere. And another camera I used to use. This, this, this one is heavy. This is an, another old camera, a Pentax. Very good camera. All right, the other one was this one. This is a few Fuji film, little camera. All of them take very good pictures, though. But some use, mm -hmm. if one of them use film, I believe the rest of them uh, had different types of them. Uh, trying to get her to use this camera. We'll see how that goes. I do that. <laughs> I do that now and then. I go to CVS and have them printed out here. <laughs> All right, thank you, the boss. Um, this, yeah, that's my best camera that I showed you first. That's in my hand now. Mm -hmm. it, because this is uh, one I'm, the one I'm holding is, uh, it also takes moving pictures, you know, videos. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my first camera was called a Kodak Brownie. Okay, the next one. I don't have any words for this one, but it's just showing the different cameras. I hold this on. And the, um, I don't know if you can see this thing. This is the thing I put my movie camera on. Okay. You know what I think I've seen you use that once or twice. I usually see the, the camera around your, uh, uh, the, the, the one that you got in the blue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the one I use most right now. And these are just different kinds I did. Here I was at the, um, what is her name? Harriet Tubman's Museum. And okay. Pictures there, all over the place. You take pictures. Now the use. <laughs> oh, these are pictures I've taken of my grandchildren. Let's move on. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, don't don't be so quick. Okay. But the reason why I, I like your 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 photographs is the lives that you capture and the joy that you have in the people's eyes. Uh, if you could look at the, the photographs of the eyes that you capture, you can see the smile or the pleasure that you bring out of them. Okay, for me, and for someone else, makes it different. Excuse me, go ahead. No, I'm saying if you look at Anissa Salim and the other sisters, you can see the joy and the happiness in their eyes. Yeah. Your photographs yeah. capture people. You stimulate people to bring the joy out of them. Thank like you. if you look back at the, even the children, the youth photographs, mm -hmm. you can see the life come out of them, the happiness come up out of them. Thank you. Yeah, some people don't want you to take their picture, so they'll tell me. Yeah. And I'll... Yeah, true. <laughs> Anyway, the top top left in the black and white picture, that's my baby girl, Nimat. And on the right is Nimat's daughter and granddaughter. That's Naomi okay. and Naomi. Naomi. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what do you call her name just now? Um, Anissa Salim. Salim, yeah. And of course, uh, yeah. Don't worry about calling nobody names because you're not going to catch them all, sis. We make mistakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. The next one is also, I love grouping the families when I can. This, wow. that's, this, and then, and then, yeah, when she was a baby, I was a family there. And, yeah, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm looking families. at them. Yeah. Yes. You, know, you know these two families, don't you? Yes, 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 I, yes. There's no question. Uh, um, I know them, but once again, I'm I'm looking at the the, the eyes of, of the of the people that you captured at that, that moment. You know, it's the sparkle. You can look at uh, uh, 
I'm gonna act like I don't know them, but the sister with the husband, with the two boys on the bottom, you know, you can look at their eyes and the joy and the pleasure. Um, you can look at the, the brother on top, you know, that's his family. He's a new man. He's showing you that I'm a man. Look at my serious focus. You know? <laughs> yes, thank you so much for that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, we thank you. <laughs> Okay, I enjoy taking the pictures, action shots, especially when the people are not posing for the family. Mm -hmm. And these were taken at our content of the karate class. Well, they call it Shotokan karate. Very different. Um, these are my grandchildren, and uh, I know her name, I can't call it. Down on the bottom. Zayba. Sister Zayba. Yeah, that's her and her beautiful baby. And I know, I know. I'm looking at the love that you catch, you know, that the mothers are giving out to, to the children. I mean, yeah, next to her in the middle there is my grandson, uh, Issa. Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin, yeah. And the right of her is uh, Serenity. These are all my grandchildren and their babies. And above there are three grandchildren. Wait, 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 wait. I think I heard something in the background. Somebody say great grandchildren. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Okay, thank you, Sister Ruth, because I know you did. I'm, I'm, I'm a grand, look, I met you through your grandchildren, your grandchild. So I know you got to have some grand, great grandchildren. I know you know Daya and right. That boy now is five or six years old. <laughs> Okay, uh, help me out. Here we have um, Takwa and her husband and her son. Uh, and the others over here are Nadia. Nadia is in Korea in the US Air Force. And uh, Ariana is top left. Under her is uh, my son John, who's like Ma'am Josh. <laughs> Ram John, <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> wow, mashallah, mashallah. Wow. <laughs> and my daughter Melanie. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man, oh, I just wow. I would have never seen that. <laughs> yeah, they, I love the. A lot of people use digital pictures, and they don't want to uh, develop. You know. But anyway, when I can, I give them the pictures that I have taken of them if they want them. Now, these are taken in the 60s when we lived in France. We lived in Evreux, not Evreux Air Force Base, is where we were. And uh, uh, these are the three that I took over there when we left. And then we added two more to the family <laughs> while we were there. So, so, so when y'all went to France, y'all was Muslims? 1963, we, we, we joined the community in 62, and shortly after that, went right to France. Yeah, I can see the, uh, the, uh, your daughters and, and scars. Yeah. But what's, bringing, but what's bringing tears to my eyes is the boys in the lunch boxes. I can remember that. That was me going to school. Yes, I'm <laughs> Yeah, this next phase. Oh, I love the French bread. It was baked in those brick ovens. Oh, mm. Mm. And the middle picture are two of my girls, Aisha and Melanie, who attended Muhammad University, located at Temple Number no. Four in the 70s, okay. after we returned to Washington, D.C. Okay. Those white uniforms. Uh, France was those two on the left and on the right. Okay. This is, um, <laughs> okay, top left is my first daughter, Melanie. Beneath that is, who is this? Melanie, Aisha, and Angel. Oh, yeah, Angel has passed. I'm getting my blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my, you know, matter, matter of fact, that's another door that uh, we've been blessed with uh, from your family. Uh, Angel was one of the uh, first women to teach my wife and to simulate my wife uh, about herbology or, or, or herbs. And, 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 and yes, she did. I believe essential oils as well, but I know she helped stimulate and give her you know, faith and confidence 
to go to go study further. You remember that? Yeah, that's true. And uh, the little picture on the bottom is my grandbaby. That's uh, Melanie's son's daughter. What's her name? Michael's son. Michael's daughter? I mean, Michael's daughter? Yeah. My okay. Old, and then John's daughter. And daughter, Araba. This girl, Araba. Araba is uh, Naima's child. And Naima is the daughter of John. They live in Cincinnati. Beautiful children. I just love the babies. And the next one. Okay, the bottom picture. We're yeah, just having fun out here. Uh, the four youngest kids, uh, Sharif, Daya, Shalomar, Nemet, and my grandson, Jamil, who has passed. Yeah. And at the top there, in the middle, is Niani. She is my last, um, great, great, last great, great grandchild born. And who's expecting? Keisha. My baby boy's wife, they're expecting him. So uh, just growing and growing. I'm really loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's four generations, man. You got to feel blessed, got to feel uh, uh, warm. Now, I, I would suggest that, you know, uh, as you're, you got your daughters stimulating the, and the others, to maybe on some of your photographs to start uh, writing uh, information as you talk, telling us the stories. Because I was going through some of my mother's photographs, and I'm so glad that she wrote the people's names and information on the back of them. Because she's gone. I can't ask her. Oh, you know, so I think, it's, right. I think it's good for people that got these, these photographs to be able to tell some of the stories in back of them. I have to do that, yes, sir. Um, I want to do the upper left. Upper left. I did a lot of fasting when we lived in France. So I maintained my weight very well. <laughs> <laughs> and to the right of that is uh, he's the newest one, not any younger than uh, no, he's not younger than Michael Baby. And oh, it, that's right, he is. He is. Yeah, that's the that's the last one. This is my son John's son, John the third, and his <laughs> baby John the fourth. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, 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 what are some of the names that are are, are passed down besides John through your families? Uh, because I, I noticed in my family there's certain names like James or, yeah. or Agnes. Certain certain names just transcend through generations. Yeah, because they have a different name in the middle. Of it, so, right. Um, and the bottom left, that's uh, Michael. That was way back before his mom. <laughs> and over oh, yeah. on the right. At the top, that's our address when we were living in France, and we lived in a um, what do you call them? Trailer. Trailer. Yeah. Behind us in that other picture. Okay, and on the, underneath that, uh, Angel is learning how to ride a two wheeler. Mm -hmm. And this baby, okay. who's this baby? Isn't that Leon? Maybe I don't remember. Anyway. And on the side there, you see a little sign that says, Muhammad is the comforter. Mm -hmm. My husband had that in the yard years ago. And some, oh. some Arab man stopped by the house and said, what, what faith are you and who do you follow? He, he happened to see the sign. So we had a discussion and he went on. Is that good? Yeah, that must blew his mind back then, huh? <laughs> uh, Flowers and semi inspiration. Oh, my husband Francis Dioni is up in the upper left picture yeah. in the yard every year. And below that is our sister Jamila. Jamila. What's the brother's name? Abdul. What's the brother? Sister, his mother, her mother's name is. Uh, she just passed recently. Abdul Malik. He's a oh, okay. Doreen, sister Doreen. Doreen's daughter. These are some of her wedding flowers under there. Okay. And okay. then to the right of me, I'm in the yard of my great my, of my husband's father's family, looking right wow. across the water, right across the bay. Wow. Y'all should have never left there, boy. I can see you fishing there now. Good God. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful uh, property. These are more pictures.
sisters from um, different things. The top ones were from Jamila. The bottom is from. Um, my, my, my sister Ruth, I, you know, I once again, I what what I like is is the 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 the, 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 the and with these are the, the the beauty and then the 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 closeness that you're bringing it to to that person. Uh, it, it's there. Uh, uh, I, 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 I I like this beauty. I mean, really, be, it, your your flowers are like the the people eyes that you capture. I I, I really like your your. These on the bottom left are some of my birthday flowers. Uh, uh, my birthday was March 5th. Okay, okay, okay. I was 84. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thank you. And, 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 and let me say this uh, because I was in, uh, doing some of the research. Um, Moni, happy belated birthday, but also congratulations on such of a historic. Uh, long-term marriage. I, I think that is a model of you and your brother, brother Bilal. What is it, 64 years, right? Yeah, that y'all been married. Yeah, and he's still back there supporting you. So, I, they, they, you know, that's great. That's fantastic. You know, y'all are, 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 are break the norm of what, what our society is projecting out now. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so here I'm at the aquatic gardens, and uh, those lily pods, um, they weren't, they, when I, I went there, I used to go every year, and the plants are so beautiful, and they all grow in the water. Um, I, the last time I went there and looked for that, those, they were not there, and the people there told me the, um, as they frogs got in there and ate, ate them, or killed, killed them. Turtles, turtles got in them. Oh, turtles. Killed them, yeah. But that's me getting a good picture of them. <laughs> I got a nice picture of them. Um, I might cover it and take it to them one day. But anyway, yeah, I used to go there all the time. I haven't been in a while. I'm gonna go back. Anyway, I see they got a fence up around it now, so. Somebody must have fallen in or something. <laughs> or maybe trying to keep the turtles out. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah. Okay. My beautiful friends and family. Okay. Up, so done? Top right. Don't get caught up and try to mention who these people are. I, I know Sister Raphael and Sister uh, Fadilla. Yeah. I, 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 but at the top, once again, is my family after the children's basketball game. Okay. Oh, yeah. My granddaughter was a big star in that. <laughs> so the whole family naturally goes to their games. And underneath, I'm on my way to my son's what? wedding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And this is the Miriam Selene. And her family. These look like events. These are uh, yes. And this, this is um, that was an, an Eid celebration. And these, my husband and I attended many events with the Muslim community in the seventies. Here's a picture of my father George Green and I at his our home in Arlington, Virginia. My sister and I have on. All the MGT uniforms, as you know, that was in the seventies. <laughs> Wait a minute! I met you. I know. I knew your sister, right? Sure, you know Betty. The map. Her name is the map now. Betty Green, and that's my husband and I. The bow tie babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the butterflies. That's seventies there. Okay. And this one. Um, my husband is an avid gardener, like my father was. Picture wow. on the right with me and my girl, my girl far the far right, me and my girlfriend Shirley. We met when her husband and my husband were boxing in the Air Force. Mr. Johnson Johnson was their name. He became a major sports commentator after boxing. 
And this is a picture of our children at my 60th wedding anniversary. And um, pardon me, didn't your um, brother Bilal um, and, and, uh, was a pretty good amateur boxer? Didn't he win a couple uh, or a hole or belt or something? Now, uh, where are you? Do you want to answer the question? Yeah, he won belts and medals and the brother saying, when you're yeah, a good boxer and you earn, earn awards and things. Yeah, he is for it. Yeah. Trying to, trying to. Come, come and tell them about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is your day, sister. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, uh, yeah, the pictures the two the two pictures that they are holding are the one of my daughter who passed and my oldest son. He was okay. a Capitol Hill police officer. And uh oh. Angel was a RM and a, a um, he's called a person that uh, makes their own medicines and herbology. herbologists. Oh, yeah, oh, Angel. Mm -hmm. um, now, another question How many children in total have you had? 12. 12? Yep. Oh, okay. 12 of them. Let's see, how many is over here? It should be all oh, but two are right here. Well, all of them in this picture, can, including the two that are in the pictures. That's all of my children. Oh, okay. You know okay. them, Matt, Aisha. I know three. Melanie, uh, Devon, Namat, John. That's it. Uh, and Michael as your grandchild. Oh, you know Omar? No, I don't know Omar. I know the name, but I don't know Omar. The baby boy Sharif. Sharif, um, is Michael. that there was one that Michael, one cousin Michael played with? Might have been Sharif or Omar's son. Okay, Omar, right here. That's Omar. Oh, can you see the yes. two of them pictures? Yes. Okay. Well, I can see you pointing at the arrow. That's oh. Omar. You gotta know Rashida. You know Rashida. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, say, I, 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 I the, the three I know, I know, I know. All right, Devon, Melanie, and the man, uh, and, and brother John. Aisha. Aisha. No. I know names. I know names. <laughs> but, you know, they could come right by me now. Now you're gonna put me in trouble. But yeah, no, no, I, I know names. You know, but you know, faces. The middle girl at the top is uh, Devon, my first daughter. Oh. Okay. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, Devon, I didn't know you were the oldest. <laughs> oh, now this picture is my family and extended family at our 60th wedding anniversary. And that was held at NEA. Uh, Education, Education Association, where my daughter worked at. Mm -hmm. Mashallah. I mean, that's love. I mean, you can see it. You can see it. Yeah, and, it, and it's still coming. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Well, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Now, I know you know Lorraine and the wife here with her son. Okay, yes. And, and her sister Betty on the mat. We go way back then. My sisters and one brother joined the Nation of Islam. Above are my nephew Charles and my sister Lorraine and Jeanette, who used to call Betty. I love this picture of me and my mom. My mom said she was afraid that Malcolm X would be killed because of the way he was talking. So when we told him about her, he went to my house, my mother's house, and talked to her and said, Why did you say that? And uh, my husband said the same thing about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. They had courage. Yeah, you, 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 you're right. There's, there's no, no, there's no question. They put the man in the man. You know, one of the best things I've I've, I've heard people say about uh, Amr Elijah Muhammad. He say he's he's a man's man. He's the maker of men. <laughs> um, look at Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, W. D. Muhammad, so many others. You know, myself and so many your your husband. I mean, there's so many others that he has touched and motivated. You know. 
Yes, that's when you make it. 107. Okay, this mm -hmm. is, I took this, uh, the color picture at Boeing Air Force Base. Um, it was at the, um, club, the senior club, they had clubs there. Anyway, at Boeing Air Force Base, honoring Sister Marion Sabine for her 35th year in uh, early childhood uh, education. Mm -hmm. Okay, the black and white picture is of Sister Clara Muhammad, wife of Elijah Muhammad. I did not take yes. this picture. I don't know who took it. She taught the sisters in the nation of Islam about cooking, how to make the beans and whatnot, and raising and educating children. Beautiful sister. And this family, I forget, you know Rick and them, I can't remember the family name on the left, this family. It's the whole family. Oh, now I'm glad you mentioned his name. That's Rick Mubarak. Mubarak, that's their name, yeah. Rick Mubarak. I, I, I was trying to figure out, I said, I knew this guy. I couldn't figure out the face till you said his name. Yeah, thank you, there you go, thank you. And this is a life-size figure of Harriet Tubman. I'm sitting beside her, <laughs> and I had gave somebody my camera to take the picture. And on, on the top right, that's uh, Harriet. She's getting the people to come so she can take them north. And this is Sister Mariam Sabine and Sharon Abdullah. What do you like taking most? People, nature, events? What do you like doing most? Uh, Beautiful nature, everything. <laughs> I just like taking pictures. I take pictures of a pretty rock. <laughs> Whatever. I, like. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. And there can be some pretty rocks. <laughs> but you're not gonna find many pets. <laughs> not not you're not gonna find pets. <laughs> okay. okay. You know, I, I don't care about animals so much. Sister Ruth, you know, we might get in trouble. I hear you, sister. I hear you. I, hear you. <laughs> I, I know people love pets, but I do. And I, I guess because I get attached to them and they die, you know, I said, no, I don't want any pets. Anyway, these are pictures of um, Imam Wafadim Muhammad. And this is a picture. And the one in the back of you and your husband, somebody painted that, one of your yeah. family members? It was a gift to me from Aisha. She had her friend who was an artist to paint it. And that's me and my husband in front of it, sits in my living room. Okay. Yeah. He was a great man, wonderful man. We love him. And this is um, me and Dick Gregory. There's Doreen Edgar Malik and Sister Clara Muhammad. And this Sister Clara Muhammad is Declare Muhammad from Washington, D.C. Correct. She, this was uh, Brother family. Benjamin's. Uh, yeah. Mitchell's uh, wife, they were some of the earliest, earliest followers of Ronald Elijah Muhammad. Is this the woman that Ronald Elijah Muhammad stayed at her house? Yeah, yeah. And you know, that house was sitting, the front living room was on the, the Maryland, the DC side. And if you walk across into the hall, the, you know, into the bed, that, the dining room, that area was in Maryland. So somebody mm. came there looking for Elijah Muhammad because he would stay there sometime. And uh, they, they were looking for him and I, Mr. Clara told him, oh, oh he's out of town. Because he was in the <laughs> on the Maryland side. <laughs> I thought they were the funny stories he told us. Very good, very good. This picture on the left is um, her 101st birthday, I think it was. Wow. And also on the side of her house, there was like a small couple of steps down where you could go into a little room there. But some of the people that had come up from the south, you know, to the underground the railroad. There you go. That's what it was called. All right. Events and weddings. We all know that's it, Jim Miller. Yeah, How do you get that picture to stand out like that? Oh, same camera I showed you. That was my favorite camera. She, um, mm -hmm. she and her mother, yeah, I got pictures of them. I did their wedding pictures for her. Mashallah, yeah, that's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, brother, uh, Imam Talib Sharif's son. 
Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And this is my daughter Aisha, and she made her gown. Oh, yeah, it's so beautiful. Mashallah. Oh, I do know Aisha. My God, I do know Aisha. <laughs> you know her husband too, brother uh, Bashir Ali. So yeah, yeah, I do. I do. And these are decorations at uh, her wedding tables and whatnot. Well, all of these curves are this up here was um, Michael. Yeah, that was Michael, my grandson's wedding at the top and some part of Top one to the right? No, no, on the right side was my grandson's wedding. And on the left was Aisha's decoration. Okay. Uh oh, somebody circled me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just a little modeling at my daughter Aisha's fashion show. She's a seamstress. Oh, okay. She's a seamstress. I like thought it was a singing group. <laughs> oh, no, she's a seamstress like me and my mom. But up top is Rashida. Under there is, um, what's her name? Sylvia. Sylvia, that's a friend of the family. And that's Aisha on the bottom. She made the clothes. That's right. Aisha is a seamstress. She is a my God. You you have a family of natural, innate, talented people. Yes, I do. They're wonderful, beautiful children, and all of them have those top good jobs. And I'm, not, I'm just blessed. And this one, I had um, to there for for Farah Shakur doing an excellent job interviewing me and Dad. At the Ali Khanislam Center. She was so real with Shakur. And Shakur Bridges. And that was that. Um, yeah, Ali Khanislam. This is my baby boy, son, my baby son's uh, wedding. His wife, Keisha, they're expecting a uh, third child. Um, Another boy, she said. Mm -hmm. So, um, wow, I see that. That's I'm biased. Now, you could you talk about the, the girls, but I like the picture on the top left with Brother John and the boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Yeah, that's um, John, Sharif, Omar, these are my two boys, and Elijah is Sharif. The one that's right, so that's three ge that's three generations of men right there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Thank you. Now you know I know the sister up at the top on the left, and you know her too. I can't call her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, oh my gosh, you're gonna kill me and you. And I just had a man. But look, let's first talk about her step. Look at that arm and that leg up there. That's mm -hmm. Raheem Jenkins' daughter. Uh, uh, uh. Raheem, brother Raheem Jenkins' daughter. Yeah. Boy, that girl gonna kill me and you for not remembering her first name. But yeah. I'm giving you props, my sis. Look at the arm, look at her step, look at her move. Oh, she's a great dancer, beautiful dancer. And my daughter up at the right, uh, Namat, Namat. She's still recording. And uh, at this affair of the lady underneath was a comedian. <laughs> On the left of her, she's saying, that's um, Linda's daughter. Oh, that's the same, but I, I thought I knew the face. Mashallah, mashallah. Now, do Namek got a new album or, uh, pardon me, CD coming out? He does have a new one out. I think it's on Facebook. Okay. A beautiful one, too. It's on Spotify. Oh, she said Spotify. It's on Spotify. And and she performs as Namek Bilal, right? As Namek. As Namek. As Namek. <laughs> and, and I... Apostrophe or, or colon and M A T. Um, oh, you said Spotify, right? Yeah. Okay. And you know these people on the mat. I mean, not, Naima on the left playing the uh, guitar and singing. Yeah. Who's up on the right? I forgot. I'm wondering. If I don't know, man. I'm, I'm almost like Devon when she says uh, 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 Ebony Khan, but I, for some reason I'm hesitant. I can't remember who that is. Because I kind of thought it was Matt till I saw that. Uh, oh, well, it is. Yeah. And so. And, and, 
Under is her. this Judge Hassan on the bottom? Judge Hassan is in a, um, they on a plate. And there's a little more, but then if you turn over here, this next page, that's that show that they were in. That's Judge Hassan. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we're going we're gonna to put Judge Hassan in the, who's this, this person to the right with the curlers rollers in their hair? That's Hassan. That's Judge Hassan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was changed up in his top hat in front of the railroad, the railroad train. They all were on the train. It was a story they told, you know. So and what was the story about? Go to the court. The people on the bottom were in that, uh, on that train and in that story. And you know all of these people, I believe. Yes. Did you see it? This is, these are members of Master Muhammad. And it's obviously a, a, a performance, a play performance. Yeah, I think it was a finger time. I think, I think she wrote it, didn't she? She wrote it. She may have. Uh, I oak, oak production? An uh, oak production. Uh, it was an old production? Okay, that would be a finger con. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Because the only other people that does productions is the uh, Carolyn Muckman in it that I'm aware of. Oh, yeah, with me, I'm right. Now, top left is Imam Salim Muthman, the Mali teacher. Okay. And Imam Dr. Zaid Abdul Karim. Uh, he's in California now. Imam Shuaib. Shuaib is on the bottom left. He's in California. And on the right, Congressman Keith Ellison had a book signing at the nation's mind. And the brother that's talking to him, I'm, what's his name? I remember him. Oh my God, my sister. I, and I just had it, man. Oh my God, Mel, I have mercy on you. That's all right. Matter <laughs> uh, of fact, his son, his sons was friends with Michael and James and all of them <laughs> when they went to Claire Muhammad School. Yeah, yeah. And you know who these are. You know, Talib Sharif and Sister Tahira. Tahira. Yeah. Yes. And the, and the brother on the right, Congressman Geisman. And I know this Keith man, Ellis. Didn't call it. Keith Ellis and um, Roy Biden. That's his name, Biden? Yes. I know he's a businessman. I know it's just been, it's yes, been. Brother Roy Bynum. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, Senator. Bernie Sanders and he made Lyndon Bilal on the bottom right. And on the left, all them beautiful cameras. I wish I had one of them. <laughs> yeah, they, they brought all of the cameras into the masjid to, to tell the story of this program they had. Mm. And but I'm looking at your, the, the richness of your, col of your colors of your shots. Oh, that's the same camera I use all the time now. But, um, at the top, that program, they were being honored for some reason. And we were at a, a, a mansion. I can't recall the name of that place. This okay. looks like the Ali Khan Center uh, believers and members, as well as uh, on the right, far right. You know, they live in Baltimore. Right. That's the imam um, I know his in Baltimore, name. outside of Baltimore's wife. The yeah. brother that has to do, do the horses. Okay, and and next to her is uh, Saisa, isn't it? It's Salsa, Sister Salsa, brother uh, Shuaib's wife in yeah, the in yeah. Annapolis Merle. And this lady in the red, I'm not sure. But then next to him is uh, Jeffrey, and the brother that's uh, secretary at uh, Ali Khan Center. And Ali Khan, Imam Sultan, and brother Ali. But it looks like a Merlin type event because these are most brothers uh, and sisters from Merlin. So it's some type yeah, of community program the, event. The mansion is in right. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, you know all these people. Mm -hmm. are, this is a, an affair that was held at um, Master Muhammad. Right, it was a political event where uh, uh, Bernie Sanders was coming out uh, to help promote uh, democracy in the election. I think he was and running for office. The problem is that the, the Jewish ran with them. I forget his name, but every now and then we 
with your fans in Houston. Mm -hmm. And this and at the top, the brother in the brown suit. I can't think of his name as well as I know him and his family. Do you remember his name? Nick behind the uh, Imam Talib. I, I know. I but he's, he's, he 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 looks like, but he's not him. I looked at him pretty good, brother Anwar Salim. No, I know him. No, and the brother on the far right, you know him. I can't call his name either. But anyway, these pictures are I like to hold on to. All right, next. All right, I, I hope I have her name right. Uh, I know these sisters, and I know one of them don't want you to have their pictures on, so we better keep moving. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> oh, really? Go back there. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I got you. I think you're going to go back and point. <laughs> All right, here is um, um, the grand that is massive. That's the grand opening of my daughter's uh, Nanette's Muslim owned natural hair salon in Largo. Uh -oh. and there is Masjid Free Haven in Philadelphia at a Mali conference. Now, now, is it Mas Masjid Free Haven in one of them towns in New Jersey? Uh, like Lawrence or something like that, like and it was probably in like a Freeman type village town as well, like this woman in a black town up right. in there. You're probably right. Uh, I was up in Philadelphia. It might have been New Jersey, Free Haven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master Free Haven. If I'm not mis mistaken, that was in a, a built in, in a black town that was like an early black town, like Freeman town. That's true. Okay. Pioneers unbelievable. I don't I know the people, I can't call the names. <laughs> uh, but up on the right, far right, um, that's my daughter and one of the chiefs of the Basa people in Ghana. Wow, uh, and he looks like Imam uh, uh, Pasha out of Atlanta, Georgia. That's it. Uh -huh. Anyway. These are, you know everybody else. The bottom right, the brother selling shea butter. And on the left is uh, Sister Wahida. Is it Wahid? What's her name? Majid. And some of her friends. I know. And we're going to give her a plug too. Um, this sister here, my God, this is the best bake, the best woman I know bake, <laughs> oh, bake yeah. goods and foods right. around. And I will hope that they're, her children, grandchildren, somebody will pick up her tradition, her yeah. naturalness, like your children have picked up on yours because she they got a good talent on yeah, that bakery. Nothing no better than her baked goods here, right? I'm telling you, her baked goods are like your photographs. Oh my goodness, thank you. Imam Zaid and his wife Daya and Sister Basima. And this child, I know her name. I know that's 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 the same sister, uh, brother. Uh, 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 she's gonna get us, boy. Uh, brother Raheem Jenkins' daughter, Sadia, Sadia, Sadia. That's correct. Brother. Thank you. I'm gonna write that down. And and yeah, uh, boy, Marsha Luck. They she gonna get us. And somebody pass the word. <laughs> that's a good picture of both of them. Look at that smile, that loving sister Basima's face. Yeah, and, that, and Sadia is an excellent dancer too. Um, yes, of them. Is Imam um, Freddie Mukmen and a couple of brothers from Ghana that visited here. There was an affair. Well, that is okay. I know you know these people. This is Sister Bahija, mm -hmm. Imam Gaid Nur Kashif, who has passed on. Dr. Yuan no. Yang. Sister Shukriya on the bottom there. And, on the bottom are, are some of the early uh, Master Muhammad pioneers out the 50s. Yes. But I do want to go back to the top of these two that you do, you do, you are showing Imam Kashif, um, who was an early uh, pioneer uh, in, in the community and was an a editor and a, 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 a writer for the Muhammad Speaks uh, and, and, and Muslim Journal. Sister Bahija. He took so many pictures. Uh, I was trying to get them, 
And I talked to Rule, his son, and he said a lot of them he lost in the fire. Remember right. That? Matter of fact, yeah. do you, my, my, matter of fact, let, I'm glad you brought that up. He, he, Mom Kashif did do a lot of photographs. Mom Kashif, you, brother AJ, brother, uh, 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 Brother Salim Mateen um, are some of the people that I've seen that took photographs. And I do think that that, that skill set and, and uh, the photos that y'all done, y'all captured history, that that story need to be told. And y'all need to be given more of those opportunities. Sure. And I think if I talk to Sister Sharon, she may be able to get, help me get some more of his pictures that somebody else had, one of the daughter, his sons, or somebody else had. Mm. I'll find out about that. Oh, we got to finish up. We've been on too long. Okay, top left, Abdul Malik's son and his wife. His wife. And the middle top is um, Kevin and her daughter. And the right brother that passed, and he's a lovely man. Hakeem Rustan. Rustan. Hakeem Rustan used to have the pyramid, I mean, pyramid. Um, pyramid bookstore. Caravan. No, no, that was Hudari with the pyramid bookstore. Caravan. I forgot Hakeem bookstore name, but Hakeem had ran the bookstore in Maryland and as well as the bookstore in Master Muhammad. Correct. Caravan bookstore, yeah. Caravan bookstore. Uh-huh. And on the left are pioneers, French pioneers, and on the right, Insura and uh, oh, For, uh, 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 Shakur. Yes, Shakur. Shakur. Yeah. All right. And this is our Mathematician. Oh, he was a genius. She got the lot of Shabazz. Yeah, he came in with her brother, Lana Shabazz. Oh, he was this, um, just a genius. Like he says, I'm a teacher of math, involved in mental reconstruction, which necessitates the producing of our own material to combat the negative images, images which are working against the minds of our students. He was such a help to us. Um, and he won a couple of presidential presidential awards, right? In mathematics, oh, yes. if I'm not mistaken. And he went to MIT. I'm not mistaken. He graduated from several colleges. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he definitely taught a, 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 a quite a few colleges, Gam Gamlin and, and Lincoln and a few others. And did, you, um, did you see that movie about those girls who um, helped NASA? Yes. He was one of the, yes. they, didn't, they didn't even mention him, but he was one of the men that they would go to for information also, you know? That, you know, I've, I've heard that, you yeah. know? And, and I think that's why um, one of the, he got an award years ago from one of the presidents. I'm not sure if it was uh, Clinton or, or, or Bush, what president that he won a, a mathematician okay. award for his, his okay. service. I might find out about that, okay. Now I'll tell you the truth. We've been blessed. The museum we have a large uh, part of his collections. Oh, do you? Uh, his photographs, yeah. some of his letters that uh, was written to him, some letters that he wrote. A um, couple of uh, uh, he didn't have the children. Uh, I believe they were all adopted, but a lot of them passed the information down. We got a lot of his collection. Sister Della, Sister Della, yeah. Oh. And their, their children, um, you Suad that. and uh, you remember, Marcus. You remember his yes, father? neither one. No, I didn't get it from Sister Schwab. The the um, this was one of the young men that was like adopted son. He, um, he passed a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah, he used yeah. to go to Imam yeah. Sultan's mass jib. Yeah, he used to. He raised a couple of African boys. Well, yeah, well, I, I assume that the, the, some that he raised, and this this other one, he still got a lot of his CD, uh, my CDs, cassettes, a lot of articles. Lot, well, oh, alhamdulillah, yeah. we do have a lot of his collection. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he was a minister. Yeah, at, he was a minister. At at before, and he was right, right after Malcolm. He took Malcolm places, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, he was there when we came back from France. He was. The he man. was there. He was the. Uh, over the school the minister yeah, he was over the school too because when i graduated from university of islam he was what do you call the it? director yeah 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 no no doctor I, you hear a lot of uh, respect uh, uh for him uh, uh, matter of fact dr Lonnie shabazz for the nation of islam uh, brought a lot of dignity dignity and and stopped some of that stuff that they used to say that uneducated people was coming into the nation of islam 
Um, Dr. Lonnie Shabazz uh, proved different, that there were some educated people that were joining and were part of uh, the nation of Islam. Well educated. And he really, yeah. helped, he had really helped elevate what they call the Mother Mosque today, yeah. or the nation of Islam, Temple Number no. 4. What about Katie with my name? Oh, Allison. Keith, Keith Allison. Keith Allison and my husband on the top left. On the right is my daughter Angel and Sister Claire Muhammad. She vending. She used to make her own products, herbals, and products and whatnot. The bottom left is um, just a sign and his flag. That's my little me. And my sister Lorraine and Sister Angel. Ava. Yeah, that's the sister I know. Yeah, Lorraine. Oh, it is. That? Yeah, and I, I eat that. She is the lovely, lovely sister. Oh, yeah, uh, both of them. Her and oh man, yeah, yeah, they had energy. They had energy. They had energy. Yeah. And this picture, yeah, you probably know every one of them. I can't call the names, but I know them too. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you if, if if you go, well, I won't try try that. I got I got exemplified to Joyce. <laughs> Uh, 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 sister, uh, uh, oh my God, yeah, I won't go to uh, Brother Okawi, uh, Brother Rashi, uh, Sister Nafisa. Yeah, yeah, Kawi is behind her. Yeah, Kawi is behind her. Brother Rashid is in front of uh, next to Naf Nafisa. And I'm not sure who's that sister in back of Brother Rashid. I think. Um, the, these, this, the sister, uh, oh man. But I know she had the dancing studio. Yeah, exercise place. You know, I uh, um, she, she man, she gonna kill me, man. You know, you know the name. Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go from from you know from somewhere else to uh, God Almighty. Yeah, it was Brother Benjamin's ex-wife. Oh, <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a picture of the seniors, some of the, 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 the believers that came to our 60th anniversary party. <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> anyway, you know most of the people on there, I believe. Yes. Yeah, okay, here we go. Lifelong activism. These are um, people that I've worked with and know. This is a happy birthday for the members of the Hillside Civic Association. That's the, I'm a part of that. And uh, is it China House Day? Civic Association. Mm, I don't know. Mrs. Myers, the county executive, Angela also Brooks, and Doris Mingos at the bottom right. And all of them work with the, the county. Okay. And on the right, I don't, I don't know if you remember AMCOP, that's way back. <laughs> look, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. Every time I uh, I go to Costco, every time I see Sam's, I'm, I'm mad at us as a people because that is the concept that Mom Worthy Mama gave us. That's what AMCOP was supposed to be. Yeah, Buy yeah. bulk things and sell at a discount to the public. But we could not capture ourselves around that concept. Mm -hmm. Another thing that he, he introduced to the market before um, before um, um, shea butter he introduced shea butter to the market before Imam Muhammad talked about shea butter shea butter was not around. Um, and then it came out in the market, and then the the the, the, the big marketeers took it from us. We didn't have control. And then you shea butter was in the, uh, the chicken and the fish up there, and he had to hold the store. Yeah. Yes, right. Making the same. Yeah, this awesome. Anyway, I'm yeah. way back. And all of these garments my daughter designed and made. Uh, Sister Aisha, the one in the all white in the middle there, under. That. Is she still designing? Is she still making clothing? She, no, she owns a um, beauty salon, and she lives up in Peoria, Illinois now. So. Oh, uh, huh? that's for herself, but not no, not like she used to. You couldn't hire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she made a couple for my wife. Yeah, she was a good designer. Man, you got some talent. Now the, yeah, you got some talented people. Yeah, and the one behind her on the left with the white top. Is that you? That's me. That's 
Devon, the one you were talking to now. Yes. Yeah, but, but Aisha made the garments and at the top, Omar, my son, he and somebody, one of uh, the entire probably drew the books for the Amcup uh, comic book. They did? And that uh, that Monday extra was a paper that uh, came out back then. You know what? Sister Ruth Bilal, you just reminded me. You know, your grandson Michael was a very, very, very excellent uh, cartoonist drawer. Oh, that's Omar, yeah. No, no, Michael too. Michael was very good. You come over to my house and draw, you may not see it. Believe it, that that boy was sketching, <laughs> tracing. He brought it back, put it like this. Either he was lying to me. And said he drew it, but I will watch that boy trace out some um some sketches. I think you're talking about John. No, I know to Michael, I engaged with if you would come over to my house with, with James. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tell me something new. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really. Okay. Okay. That's me. Every now and then we get the hand out uh, the <laughs> the voting information. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the people to vote at the polls. That's one of so, the so, so, so what you're saying that you still engage and involved in the community. That's right. Okay, <laughs> now I hate to say this or ask, but I'm gonna take the be bold. You can't hit me because we're on Zoom. How old are you in this picture? Still engaging? <laughs> what do you How old were you? How old? Oh, that was just a couple of years ago. This picture. <laughs> Age, cause I got a lot of brothers that are sitting home on the, on 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 on, on, on that uh, uh, couch. <laughs> no, eighty-two, yeah. Eighty-two out there still engaging and involved. See, look at that Black Lives Matter at eighty-two. Come on, man. <laughs> that, that's eighty-three. <laughs> that's and I, look and this to my eighty-three. Come on, brothers and sisters, we need to be involved, get engaged. That's and right. see, some of that comes from what with the people that they they they. they you see my camera in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all this, all this too. And that means that you wasn't taking a selfie. That means somebody else was taking it. Somebody took it. Yep. And these, um, on the top left, we have made um, books of all the service mem members of our family. That's the blue with the flag on it. And the family wow. recipes, we need another book. And this is this smaller book. What's what was that? Uh, uh Ramadan thoughts of uh, Ramadan reflection. Yeah, thoughts about Ramadan. Yeah, mom drew that bird. So I got you the little bird. <laughs> oh, you're artist too. Wow. <laughs> anyway, below there is my father's picture that he used to make, used to make the best whole wheat roll. So that's his recipe. And on the right, this is my baked bean recipe. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back. Something happened. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, so now, so this, these are four books or two books? Three books. Three books, all three of those books we did. And, 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 and one is a book that you did about all your family members that were part of the military in, in service. The one with the flag on it, yeah. Okay, and, and then the other book is, is a story of, of recipes of your families? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the third book is? Reflection on uh, Ramadan at Eve 2020. Wow. Are they available for sale <laughs> online or anywhere? <laughs> and on the bottom right, that's a picture of me. Because the children put the picture up that's above the top there. And, uh -huh. they, said, and they took it and I said, why didn't y'all got me some picture of me when I was younger? <laughs> and they, put, they did it. They put it on there. Oh, yeah, that was my okay. Well, I really, the reason why I brought that up, because I think that's a great idea for families and people to think about to do, you know, for our archival purpose and for historical purpose. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because we have some, uh, like you say, our recipes, our family. You know. Wait a minute. I know another one of your daughters. Oh, no. Go back. Go on. Go that's made that's that's related to the tie, the threads. Another one of my daughters. 
Okay. Yes, the one that's married to Todd. Zaya. You know that. I do kind of find no now then we start coming to it. I, I, I do know a few of them. Yeah, she's the one that works for the National Education Association, NEA. Okay. And these are the pages from the family. Reflections book. That that book, book of uh, reflections with the bird on it. And these mm -hmm. these are children drew themselves and Aisha. Did the E picture with the crescent and under it, she checked the Q, U, and the A, N for I because it's quarantine. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, D. Todd drew the picture wow. on the top left. And Omar, Omar drew the bottom. Who was he yeah, at the time? Yeah, <laughs> he, he had a, uh, made a picture of his, a product that he was, I don't know if he was working on it or what, pictures of the product, like the toothpaste and the whatever. The mask. All right, so look, let's talk a little bit about this. So now, what was, what was the emphasis uh, or what started the idea to do a, a book of the is, a family book of the is? What, what was the idea behind that? She asked us to think about what Ramadan meant to us and to send her something. Yeah. And so each person sent in their reflection on Ramadan last year. Wow. And when you say each person, that's child and adult of the family. Mm -hmm. so some of the kids did some too. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. I don't have all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. I'm almost done. Um, this is our military family, I think, is it? Yes. Anyway, upper right, that's Nadia. She and her husband are stationed in Korea right now, US Air Force. Um, on the left, is that, is that John? John? Look, look, it's John. John also there. He, John is my son John's son. Oh, so this is little John, not big. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, the, the third John. The yeah, third John. yes, because his son is the fourth one. But him, he flew pilot. He, he is a Black, pilot. Black Hawk. Yeah. The Black Hawk. Yeah. What did they call it? I'm, I'm not a military guy. But what is that? Is those are badges, medals under on his yes. coat? Captain, yeah. <laughs> Captain John the Bell. And like I said, he flew the uh, black black hawk black hawk helicopters and airplanes, and he's qualified to fly. Um, what do you call it? Like you go down that way and then get on the plane. U.S. one? Huh? U.S. one? No. Air Force The kind of plane that you just carry people. Anyway, he has a license. It's a license to do pilot license. Pilot license, yeah, for those other planes also. In the middle there is my some of my sons and my husband with a um, that's a map, the flag, a flag. I mean, one of my sons who passed, no, because he's standing right there, but it's from one of the children that passed. Anyway, they got together, took that picture, and on the so, no. So, so whoever that child that passed has received some medals and some awards, um, because I, I, you, you can see that within the, the casing of the flag. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. That. Aisha and Omar. Aisha and Omar. That's my Aisha, Omar. That's her son. And me, on the right, when she was in the army. Underneath that is, um, what is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is my sister and her husband in the middle bottom. Um, to the left of that one, the one hugging her husband is uh, Serenity. Mm -hmm. And this is um, my sister, the Matt's son, Saeed, and his wife, Robin. But this family, all family. Okay, all right, all right, right there. 
where the arrow was. Who was that? Was that you and, um, and Brother John? Where? Down here to the right. No. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot who that was. I was thinking about that. But this one, we had a, oh, it was a lovely affair. Molly students had a graduation. And um, there's uh, Dr. Sage and uh, my tutor now, uh, Sister Kadik Kalila. She her, helps me now. She's the one in the bottom with the green on. But anyway, okay. the whole big class, we all graduated. And it was, where was that at? Um, Philadelphia? Oh, no, no, but that's quite an achievement. <laughs> yeah. He said, that old lady didn't shut up. <laughs> just, right, you still engaged, right. Learning the Arabic. <laughs> yeah, still doing it, still studying it. Yes, my certificate of completion. All right. To the right, that's when I went on Hajj at the bottom, 1999. That's my roommate on the left, and me in the middle, and my daughter, the bond, right here. And you were. Mashallah, Hajjahs. Hajjahs, yes. <laughs> and uh, I was doing some shopping somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Shopping, goodness. right? I can't match this photography. <laughs> yeah, somebody had my camera and took these pictures. <laughs> that yeah. looked like one of them trips going down the Eastern Shore. <laughs> um, it was in Lewis, down near Rehoboth. It sure was. Yeah. It's August 11th, 2018, and this is my grandma, Ruth Balau. My name is Nora. I was born in Arlington, Virginia, during the time of segregation. And um, I worked with um, as a uh, people did in that picture called the help for the Caucasian families. And um, what I really want to say is we have been blessed to come back into our religion that was taken away from us <clears throat> called our Islam. And I'm just proud to be living in this day and time because uh, there's so much going on, so much happening. It looks bad and it looks wonderful, but we have to know what uh, we do expect the best to happen for our people. If you study, if you study our Islam, pick up that Quran and study with the Muslim American Logic Institute, you'll wake up. <laughs> and I thank God for this day, my family, and uh, God bless America. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, that the um, that. that Museum has that recording. <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah. Very good. And Very good. And for the people that's in the background, that was her, one of her daughters and uh, two of her grandchildren. <laughs> oh, she wrote that. Yeah. Sister Ruth Bilal, Sister uh, uh, Devon. Brother Bilal, Sister uh, Melanie, all family members that uh, supported and helped Sister Ruth pull this together, uh, 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 baby, share her story, share her uh, photography. I do hope that the believers, as I saw, see the, her, her, her beautiful work. And then she comes uh, come to closing, she comes with the closing and she talked about Allah. Um, she has the sir, uh, 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 94 Al Shura, the, the expansion of the breasts. Wow, this is one of my favorite ones. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Bilamin. We have not expanded thee thy breasts and we've moved from thee thy burden. You know, the law is saying, Have we not ex you know, expanded our breasts and removed from us our burden? The sister just said that she was part of the help. She just said that she was grew up in, in, in um, Freeman Village. 
you know, those are the days of the slavery. So yes, Allah has extended our breasts and he has removed some of our burden. Yes, we're still burdened, but he has removed that. Then which did gall thy back and raise high the esteem which thou are held today. We're in much higher esteem than we are today. If you saw the photographs and the love that her children and her grandchildren and family members and friends gave her, she's raised in, 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 in a great esteem to the point that even the children picks up a tradition. You know, we, we was raised as Christians, we say honor, and the Christian Bible says, well, honor your father and your mother so your days may be longer. And you heard from her that she was honoring her father from the tradition. She said her father did uh, uh, use the bathroom as a black house or, the, or, or dark room, okay? And, 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 and photography. So, so from his tradition of doing, she picked it up and, and her great and her grandchildren are doing it. Uh, and she's still continuing marching on in, in 83 and plus. You know, so really with every difficulty, there is relief. Really with every difficulty, there is relief. Therefore, when thou art free from thy immediate task, still labor hard, still labor, still work. Your sisters, you see, she's still working, taking, going to schools, uh, 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 Maldi conference, learning Arabic. She's still consistent. You're going to see that she showed us four different cameras and, she, and this is, She's gonna live two score, two forty years, the scores of years, you know. Uh, 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 therefore, when you know, from y'all free from that, you made it test, still labor hard, and to thy Lord turn all thy attention. So she's the example to turn that attention towards Allah, towards the love and the law, having patience, having perseverance. Surely, man gets what he strives for, and may Allah bless you, my sister, and your family. I thank y'all you. for the love, for the beauty, and for your work that you do. Anything you'd like to say or share in closing? I know we're going to see if we got anybody, any questions, just to put it up. We got more people uh, probably more watching it online and on, on Facebook that we have um, on questions. So um, in the end, is there any closing comments you'd like to say, Sister Ruth? Oh, would I like to say? Mm -hmm. yeah. can, you, can you see the garment that I have on? <laughs> Let me see if I can stand up a little bit. You can see the, see the, the coloring. Of the, I forget what you call these patterns. You know. I know it's a bad Bad Yeah. Okay. This, you can't get back, back to it. Can't. No. Oh. No, no, I'm still here. I'm listening. You can hear me. So the, 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 the Clothing I have on, including the scarf, are is batik, and it's from made in Indonesia. My my one of my daughters-in-law is Indonesian, and she went home for a while and brought back these things for me. It's, it's wow! So different. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, I just heard what you said, and that reminded me of what Elijah Muhammad taught us. And I'm pretty sure Dr. Lani Shabazz said it, that, you know, we was taught that we'll have friendships of all walks of life. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. All over the you world. Know, you know, and now, and, and now that, that, it is, that, that friendship is coming home into your own personal home, into your own personal life. If he wasn't a Muslim, I'm pretty sure he might not have been able to marry uh, <laughs> Indonesia. Yeah, she's Muslim. I'm really not. Yeah, I appreciate this, but I'm here. Thank you. All right. We thank you. We thank you for your time. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your audience. And we will upload it um, on YouTube and Facebook. Oh. I want to thank you all both for your love and energy. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa Thank you, my sisters. Have a blessed one. You be blessed,